Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle F1 channel. After a long time, we are going to see a Oracle database arm and recovery scenarios overview. And in my upcoming videos, we are going to see arm and recovery scenarios step by step. Oracle database arm and architecture. So in Oracle database, arm and utility is very 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 important one for backup and recovery purposes we have many backup tools available i mean uh, third party tools available but that arm is oracle uh, provided arm and uh, utility this will help us to take backup and uh, recovery in our oracle databases so here it is the arm and architecture like arm and client i mean arm and utility client it is having target database we can connect arm and target and n number of target databases and there will be a auxiliary database if we want to duplicate a database like target database i mean uh, source database to it's a, we can connect to connect it over as a auxiliary database and uh, and uh, we have arm and catalog uh, database catalog database it's nothing but like we have stored that backup all the backup informations will be stored in this Armin catalog schema in my upcoming videos uh, we are going to see the various Armin recovery scenarios like uh, it is with catalog and without catalog as described as below like what it is complete database restore and recovery i mean a complete database restore the database got crashed or corrupted or something we have a valid backup and uh, we can restore and uh, recovery using complete database restore and recovery and loss of system data file next uh, non-system data data file restored and uh, re next one restoring a table space and next uh, restoring a data file if no backups and next uh, restoring a data file to different location after that and restoring a control file and then restoring a speed file after that and restoring online read log file if we missed or corrupted or something else uh, restoring online read log files and restoring a temporary data files and next one an incomplete recovery scenario which is time based change based or asian based right after that recovering and restoring archive log missing archive log files and recovering archive archive log files so these are all the recovery scenarios uh, we are going to see for this arm recovery scenarios i have set up in my lab let's uh, let me explain to you the environment use for this practice i am using a multi tenant architecture cd plus pdb database with SRLab in this container have one pluggable database for testing all the different scenarios mentioned above. I am using a recovery catalog database for my ARM configuration and its detail are ARM and CAT and the schema used for ARM and catalog data is RCAT and the TNSLI is to connect to the catalog database is ARM and CAT. I have both my databases SRLab and ARM and CAT running in archive log mode and I have also backup for my database SRLab. So I have already taken backup and the, so for the all my restore and recovery operation I am using the following syntax to connect all the database with the catalog database. So here is the syntax. This is my lab setup for our restore and recovery scenarios. I am going to uh, demonstrate in this uh, lab only. So here it is. This is my our catalog database. So this is no PDB, I mean no, this is not a multi uh, database, CDB, PDB method. It's simply, I have installed simply as a as usual, uh, 19C now as a CDB database. Okay, so my CDB plus PDB container uh, plus pluggable database, here it is, SRLab, running on this another server. and. Uh, 
you can see here so this is uh, Pagol database and SR lab and what all the data file information and the connection string for RML catalog and uh, target so let me connect I have already set up this so let me connect it again so I am connecting RML target database with catalog So, target database server lab connected, connected to recovery catalog as well. I have already registered as well. Okay, list backup. So, so I, I have taken backup long way. Till then, thanks for watching Oracle F1 channel. So let's see the recognition as demos in one by one upcoming videos. Until then, stay connected.